Once I was on a beach on the west coast of Florida. It was New Year's Eve and the yellow moon hung over the gulf like a swaying lantern. And I was watching the waves crash in front of me with a friend and the wind picked up. My friend just stared at that moon for a mile and then closed his eyes. I asked him what he was thinking, and he said, I wanted to look at this scene and memorize it, burn it into my brain, so that I could call up when I wanted to, so that I could have it with me always. I, too, have my recorders. I burn these things into my brain. I burn these things onto pages. I pick and choose what needs to be said what needs to be recorded. At the year, every year, at the end of every year, I used to write in a journal to recall the things that happened to me to log in all of the memories I wanted to keep because that is what kept me sane. That is what kept me alive. When I was younger, I was studying to be a computer science engineer. You see, I wanted to make a lot of money. I wanted to beat everyone else. But burned in my brain were the taunts of the kids who were in cliques so that others could do the thinking for them. Because burned in my brain were the evenings of the high school dances that I never went to. Because burned in my brain were the people that I knew that I was better than. Who thought that they were better than me. Well, yeah, I wanted to make a lot of money. I wanted to beat everyone else, but I hated what I was doing. I hated what I saw around me. I hated all the pain that people put each other through. And all of these memories just kept flooding me. So in my spare time, to keep me sane, to keep me alive, I wrote down the things I could not say. That was how I recorded things. When I looked around me and I saw friends raping my friends. I wrote. I, I burned into these nightmares with a pen. And yes, I have this recorded. I have all of this recorded. Uh, what did you think I was doing when I was stuffing handwritten notes into my pockets or, or typing for long hours into the night? In my spare times, I wouldn't go to the movies to watch other stories. I would sit in the corner of a cafe scribbling into my notebook. I'd sit in the computer lab slamming my hands, my fingers into that keyboard because there were too many atrocities in the world, too many injustices that I had witnessed, too many people who had wronged me, and, and I had a lot of work to do. There had to be a record of what you had done. Uh, did you think your crimes would go unpunished? Uh, did you think that you could come back and slap me on the back with a friendly hello and think that I wouldn't remember? Well, you see, that's what I have my poems for. So there would always be a record of what you have done. I have defiled many pages in your honor. You who swung your battle axe high above your head and thought that no one would remember. Well, I made a point to remember. Yes, I have defiled many pages. And have you defiled many women? You who rapes my friends? You who rapes my sisters? You who rapes me? Is that what makes you a strong man? You want to know why I do the things I do. I had to record these things. That is what kept me together. When people were dying, th that is what kept me forget together. And when my friends went off to war, that is what kept me together. When my friends were raped and left for dead, that is what left kept me together. And when no one bothered to notice this or change this or care about this, these writings kept me together. I need to record these things to remind myself of where I came from. I need to record these things to remind myself that there are things to value and things to hate. I need to record these things to remind myself that there are things worth fighting for, worth dying for. I need to record these things to remind myself that I am a lot.